Kiki readers, Lindsay here at the Kiki office to talk to you about fusing together plastic bags to make your own fabric. That is so cool. Maybe you read about that in Kiki and you thought, wow, I'd really like to try that, but I don't really understand how it works. Well, we're going to go over that process today so that you can use your fused plastic fabric to make all kinds of interesting stuff at home. So let's go ahead and check it out. How to make fabric from plastic bags. Woo! So we're going to go ahead and um, fuse together plastic bags. I have my ironing board set up and then I have my iron and I went ahead and put some parchment paper or you could also use wax paper on the ironing board to protect it from uh, melted plastic. You can use any kind of plastic. You can, you know, you can use uh, grocery bags or any kind of plastic bag. I'm going to go ahead and use clear plastic today um, just so I can show you about layering different things inside of the plastic. But if you'd rather do um, like your favorite store's logos that are on their bags, you can do that too. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is just cut cut the handles off and cut the bottoms off your bag and cut squares from your bag. Um, and you can do, you know, if you want to do longer pieces, if you have bigger bags, you can do that too. Uh, so you want to do, we're going to do about six layers for this. Um, but you can also, you could play around with how little or many bags, you know, you could try this a few times and see how thick you want yours to be. But we're going to do six pieces today. So I'm going to go ahead and lay two together and then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter in there. And you know, you can, the sky is really the limit. I mean, you could do a photograph or you could do pieces of paper, scraps of fabric, um, whatever you want, as long as it's flat. You know, you can't do 3D objects, sculptural objects in there because the iron wouldn't be able to go over it. But uh, glitter, you know, so anything that you would like to be in the middle of your fabric, you can do. Or if you just want plastic bags, you can do that too. So I'm going to put these scraps of embroidery floss in this layer. And this is what we used in the, uh, the article in the magazine too. Okay, so now that I have a bunch of pieces of embroidery floss spread out there, I'm going to do another layer. So this is my um, fourth layer, and I'm going to put a little bit more glitter in there. And then I'm going to put my last two layers on top. So I did two layers and then glitter, one layer and then floss, embroidery floss, and then another layer and glitter and then two more layers, so that's six total. I'm going to put another piece of parchment paper on top so that it doesn't stick to my iron. And you do want your iron on a high setting, not the highest setting. Um, probably a medium setting, but on the high side of your medium setting, okay? And you're just going to do passes over it with the iron a few times. So just, you know, kind of gently move around it. So then, both layers of parchment paper, I'm going to flip over so that I can get the other side. You don't want to leave the iron in any one place for too long because you don't actually want to melt a hole 
into your fabric, but you do want to make sure that all of it is covered. So keep your iron moving. Don't sit it still. So just, uh, you know, make sure that the plastic has cooled down enough that you don't burn your hands and that it's not stuck to the top piece of parchment anymore. And you can just kind of check and see if there's sides that need to be hit with the iron more. Flip it over a few times just to make sure that it's all nice and melted. So this is, when it's all together, it's almost shrink-wrapped to the objects that you have in there. And then I just take a scissors and I just trim up the edges so it's easier to sew with. And you can, I mean, you can pin this and sew it together. That's why we did six pieces instead of, you know, four, because it makes it thick enough to go through the sewing machine. But once you have this uh, made, it works just like any other piece of fabric that you might buy at the store. Okay, so this is my small scrap of fused plastic fabric, and you can, if, if you want longer pattern pieces, if you want longer pieces of this so that you can cut out from a pattern or something, then you could just when you cut open your plastic bag, cut open the sides and lay it out long ways and cut off the handles. Or you could even lay a bunch of plastic bags together so that they all melt together. You just have to layer a lot. So, you know, have fun playing around with this and just seeing what kind of fabrics you can create and what different textures you can make. So just explore all the possibilities because this is a way to recycle and, you know, make as much or as interesting a fabric that you want to make. I hope you had a blast fusing together old plastic bags to make your own fabric. And good luck with all the projects that you make from your plastic bag fabric. If you get a chance, take some pictures of the things that you make and email them to submissions at kikimag.com and maybe we can show others the cool things that you made too. Also, don't forget to check back at the Kiki website, Facebook, or Etsy for all kinds of interesting opportunities and cool things to do. Okay, good luck with your project and have a great day. The end.